everyone. Welcome to the meeting of the Ware Board of Selectmen uh, for June 6, 2022. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Mr. Chairman, before we begin with public comment, I have a request to bring to the board before we do that. Okay. Um, after reviewing some video and listening to some of the comments made by the public, I'd like to suggest one of two uh, proposals for public comment. Um, keeping the time limit at three minutes, but giving a second uh, public comment like we used to do 10 years ago. Um, Not even. Yeah, with with no limit at the end, or increasing the the public comment at the beginning and leaving it as one, but increasing it to five minute time limit. I'd like to open that up for discussion before we have public comment this evening. I like the five minute idea. I think again, in in looking at some of the videos and um, just experience, I think three minutes is not long enough. I think five minutes is good, but um, I just for I think for schedule sake, I think I think one session would be. Yeah. Myself would be better, but definitely a longer time. Mm -hmm. One vote of the board. So, any other comments from members? No, five minutes is reasonable. I would, I would, I agree with you. I would not like to okay. open it to second round. Do we okay. need to make that a motion? I don't know if we mo made a motion on the first one. I don't think we did. I think it's just a okay. yeah, an adjustment. Yeah, floor type thing. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, we will start public comment, five minutes. Observe who wants to speak. Hi there, everyone. My name is Bev Cotton, Colby Road, and Ware. And um, I'm here to express some concerns uh, about recycling. Um, I had written a comment to you folks and sent it to the mm -hmm. board's email. I got a great response back from Naomi that was very informative for me. Uh, highlighting some of the challenges that are associated with that. But I would, and I'm happy to be able to have this forum uh, to talk about it. Initially, when we stopped recycling plastic, I thought it was right around the time of COVID started. I thought, oh, well, it's a health concern. We weren't sure how it spread and so forth and so on. And then time went on and time went on and time went on and nothing changed. So I inquired at the dump transfer station um, why we weren't doing this. And it was explained to me that there was a personnel consideration. Someone needed to run, I guess they call it a baler, where it gets all compressed and so forth and so on. And there wasn't always a person available to do that. And then I spoke to a young man upstairs who has some responsibilities to the transfer station. And he explained that there's vendor challenges, being able to get rid of it once you collect it. So um, then I heard uh, there was some thoughts about maybe going to some clear plastic to make it more visible that some of our folks weren't exactly following our mandatory recycling and such. So I think that there are two things. I would like us to really try to exhaust our possibilities so that we can get back to recycling plastic. It's such a, a pressing issue, at least for me personally, I think environmentally so. Um, I don't know what other towns are doing. I don't know if there's any resource or coalition building there where we could pour, sort of pool things or, or, or make some headway into getting back to what we were doing before. Um, I personally take my, believe it or not, plastic recycling out of state to my daughters and get it recycling, uh, recycled through her um, avenues that are available to her. But, um, you know, incinerating plastic or disposing of plastic as waste is not healthy to our environment. There are materials that leach into our groundwater, and even when incinerated, um, those issues are still pressing. So I'd really like to think about that. And secondly, I'd like to think about how do we reinform the citizens of where as to the responsibilities for recycling. And um, I know you don't have, you know, recycling police that can kind of sit up there and monitor everything that everybody's throwing away. But there are sometimes some blatant things that I see a pickup truck back right up 
to the trash dump and just unload whole bunches of cardboard and such. So I'm wondering if there's anything that we can do to re-educate the population about the importance of recycling and their responsibility uh, as it relates to that. So I appreciate the opportunity to speak to that and air my concerns tonight, and I appreciate the job you folks are doing. I know that it's a difficult topic and it has some challenges surrounding it, and I appreciate the work that you're doing, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> I have to ask, what what is your topic? All right, the square road. Okay, we're gonna hold you to an agenda item, I think. So it'll be just after public comment. Chris? Thank you. Haven't been in here for years. <laughs> it was <nice>. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I guess I just want to kick around, ask, be informed of what are the chances of us getting a bridge on River Road again. <laughs> uh, it has caused a, a, a terrible hardship on me. And uh, born here, been in business since I was 13 in this town. I, I gotta make you aware I'm not a registered voter in this town, but I am a citizen and uh, I've been here all my life. Uh, I know no one wants to shell out a pile of money right now for a bridge, but I'd ask what everybody's thinking uh, I have asked different people in town. I don't understand. I, I, I realize uh, you get a certain amount of funding from state, federal, someplace. Town has to throw <coughs> in the rest. I don't know what those numbers are. I don't know what a new bridge is. I don't know what the time frame is. And right completely off the wall, I, would, I mean, I look under that bridge, uh, it's steel beams and it's got a, a deck. And I know we can't go down as a town and, and repair it. It has to be engineered, et cetera. But I don't believe if, if the town and was to replace the deck, the beams, the side structures, I believe everybody's in agreement, are fine. They're just like, no, I don't think the town I don't think the state, if they participate, will repair that bridge. They'll only replace it. And I hear numbers. I don't know if I'm correct or incorrect, but it's a lot of money. But it is just an erector set. Uh, there are people in New Hampshire that build it, probably built that bridge. Uh, we have the plans for that bridge. Would it be completely off the wall for us to not re-engineer it, not fix it, replace the failed units. And if, uh, if a new bridge is uh, a million and a half and, and the town's participation is 20% or 30 or whatever it may be, it may be a cheaper avenue for the town just to repair the bridge, not re-engineer it. The, the bridge was fine. The deck failed, needs a new one. But it is just an erector set. It's just steel beams. There's, there's no rocket science to it. Uh, now I'll ask if anybody could upgrade, update me on where we are or what we're thinking. Well, I think we can. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask um, before we'll, we'll speak to that. Um, but in lieu of time, I just want to observe any other public comment unless the board wants anything, and then we'll, we'll address it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Any other public comment on the floor? Okay. And then go to don't go too far then, Chris. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, you're not wrong. You're not wrong in your thinking because that is our our original thinking. To because we've had this conversation. Um, our original thinking was yes. You if we're going to have the the state contribute. You have to do, you have to play by their games. And they said you have to raise your 20% and 80% is funded by the state bridge. Um, here we are again with a new underrated bridge from, from no rating to six tons all of a sudden. And overnight. Overnight, and we go, uh, hello. So 
then we contact the state. We have three red listed um, bridges, I'll call them, but some of them are culverts, uh, Old Francis Town, Lowell Road, and River Road in, in the town. Um, they prioritized one of the culverts at a higher significance than the bridge at that time. So we, at, at, this is when we started doing that bridge fund that we've put on the warrant for four years. Um, we said we need to move River Road to it because of the traffic volume on it. Um, they seemed okay with that. We came up with our 20%. Everything was good. Um, now we're on the list. Okay, that's great. Now the list comes back around and no, we're going we're gonna to do the culvert. Well, hands have changed, faces have changed at the Department of Bridge. And now it's basically Groundhog's Day. We're starting over again. They lost a lot of our information. So what we're what we want to do, long story short, is we had them come down. No, you're gonna have, okay. So we we basically have thought with with the same logic you're kind of thinking, is Benji has been involved and he says we've got this pot of money that's in the bridge that's in the bridge fund. Why don't we just replace the beams in the deck? Like you said, the substructure is, is fine. Um, you know, the actual, the, the beams on the side are fine. So why don't we just replace the deck and the, and the bottom beams? There's nothing saying that we can't do that and tell the state thanks, but no thanks. Um, so that was, that's the plan. With that said, the timeline is lengthy. I believe that we're looking into, well, just for, to get the crews here, the timeline's lengthy. Um, and the plan was to put a temporary unrated bridge up off of Buzzle Hill, the, where the old bridge used to be, is to put a temporary there for a couple hundred thousand dollars to, to alleviate the, the rated bridge that we have now. And I, I, am I wrong in saying any of that? Okay, just want to make sure. If I may ask, mm -hmm. just two things I'd question. One is to get the crews here. Mm -hmm. What crews? I just, are we not going to, I mean, there's, say there's 15 beams, mm -hmm. and are we in-house, in town, our highway department, why can't they remove that deck and have an engineer or a foreman or how, whatever you, an engineer foreman mm -hmm. on site, and bolt the new beams in? That's a discussion that we have not had with the DPW director. Yep. I mean, even if the town had to... Uh, and I, I, I don't want to go on, but temporarily hire two employees mm -hmm. or something. But we would be doing it in-house uh, without the astronomical cost of bridge builders. Mm -hmm. we, we would do it ourselves. I believe that we got an estimate from, from the people that did the Peasley Road Bridge, mm -hmm. and we had that engineer come down, and I believe the number was around 400 k to re redeck and rebeam it. So that was that was that's you know that that thought process is is in motion. And your time frame for a temporary bridge is not ten minutes. No. Nope. I would guess that it couldn't be much different than repairing the existing. That if that I don't know. We. I look at it personally, and I know in a month I would do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I own the bridge, right. <laughs> it would be done in a month. I don't know, and I understand there's other. You know, mm -hmm. the town has to do things a little differently, but uh, I don't see why it wouldn't be done in six months if the town repaired it. And, uh, and uh, I mean, you take the existing plans, mm -hmm. you send them out to the fabricators, they build all the components that have failed, we pick them up, put them in, and we put new ones in, yeah. bolt it up, it's done. <laughs> So again, that, that thought logic there is is there, Chris. It's not it's yep. not that, that that you know we kind of shifted gears away from the state because obviously what we have might work, and that's what we've been told. And that they was, do one half. I'm guessing you do one half, fix it, do the other half instead of doing the light, the temporary bridge, and the whole thing. Right. If you're going to repair the base of the bridge, I think you're going to do it in its entirety, one shot. You're not going to do. I don't know how you do half at a time. And, th and that's how, and that, again, and th that's where we're kind of in the infancy stage of it, of, of figuring out what we want to do. Yep, um, yep. You know, and I don't want to speak for, for Mr. Knapp when he's not here, um, yep. you know, but again, that, that's, where, that's where this board's been briefed to. And, and again, and I, I, I completely understand your concern. Hunter, it's, it's, not more, it's more the concern, and I understand that. 
Um, but again, I, 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 I'm glad you came 100%, you know, because again, I think we need to have an open dialogue. Well, if there's anything I can do, and, okay. and I'm sorry, I want to reiterate, if you've got 15 failed pieces. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a rector set. You, yeah. yeah. It really if is. If your ducks are in a row, you send the, the, the bids out for the replacement parts, which they make right in Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. They come. It's an erector set. If everything is sitting there, I don't see how a person, a town, a company could spend more than a month doing it. Yeah, Chris, the only, um, I think it's a, a tad more complicated just through the engineering process and things would have to be tested and, and also there's environment, there'll be environmental issues. Believe it or not, a piece of that rust c cannot legally fall into the river. Right. So there's some mitigation and testing and erosion control and it would... It would be nice if we did own it, like owned it, and it was on our private property. We could do exactly what you're saying. Um, but I think with the state's involvement, and they actually have to come back and give us a stamp on that bridge when we're done, um, they will not be totally, you know, they would be included in the engineered drawings and then the testing of the torquing on the bolts, yeah. grading on the steel. It needs a stamp, right? Um, the old plan, that stamp would not, things Sit. have changed. So we couldn't just send that and use that stamp. We would actually need a new set of drawings or an updated stamp. Yes, right. but you would s replace. You would be two, th you'd be two, th you'd be two thirds of the way there as you describe yeah. it, you absolutely. You wouldn't re-engineer it. Yes, no. you would have to have an engineer re-stamp it. Right. But, <coughs> If the state would allow you to build that bridge tomorrow morning and it would be suffice, right? then there's no reason you can't put that bridge back the way it was. Oh, no, now, absolutely. If there's a reason the state would not allow you to put that bridge in because it isn't safe, yeah. you know, it was 40 years ago or whatever it may be, but it's not today, then that's a different game. But if that bridge, which I would think is a good bridge, has been, uh, is still acceptable in today's times, then just replace it. Don't re-engineer it. Yeah, it, you know, again, I'm not, yep. it, it all works Kevin. until, yeah, I'll let you go, but no, just until yeah, the, the, cut it off. all the testing would have to be done right. to make oh, sure. But, Great, Chris, um, good to see you. I'd love to stay abreast of what's going yep. on. Yeah, and that, and that was what I was gonna say. We'll, we'll try and keep you abreast of what's going on, the changes that, that we're moving forward with, and so. If there's anything I can do to help, I. We'll reach out. We got your number. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank to you, sir. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. All right. I want to bring up the Corps, uh, Army Corps Engineers and Department of Force and Lands. And yes, two different entities. <laughs> <laughs> we won't make it too complicated. Yeah. I hope not. Take over five minutes. No, you guys. You guys have your own line because again, this is to me. This is different than public comment. So. Okay. okay. So. I want to say I don't want to say unlimited. Don't take the whole night, but you I'm got you got a few more minutes. Park Ranger at Hopkinton Everett Lake, James Airy, the uh, DNCR Forester for the state of New Hampshire. Uh, we <clears throat> we work very closely together. James is uh, the forester specifically for Hopkinton Everett Lakes. Uh, he's very familiar with uh, what I'm here to talk about, and uh, I I believe I mentioned it to Na Naomi in the past. Um, what we're here to do is really to try to get a dialogue with the town um, regarding East Ware Road, or what we call Old Route 77. Um, there is um, a section of road that is owned by the town. We have it gated during the winter time and during flood operations right at River Road. Mm -hmm. um, but that is actually town property. Uh, it's a class six town road which I've spoken with uh, the town road crew and they said that they're not doing any work there. They're not gonna put any money into it because it's class six. Um, but we're also not allowed to spend money off property in the state of New Hampshire. Would have been happy to also do the same thing that I wanted to do, but they can't spend money because it's federal money that they collect from Harvesting timber Way too many hands land. in the pot so, here. So yeah. We're kind of in this, in this little predicament where nobody can really spend money and the road really needs a little bit of work. Um, so we really, you know, we're not going to tell you guys you have to do something because it's it's not our property. 
it right. does enter our property and i believe there's only one house down uh close to the bridge on river road mm -hmm. um, but i really i really just like to see something happen there even if it's Unfor get together and volunteer or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, I believe it's actually illegal for the town to maintain a Class 6 road. So that's, I mean, I, it's not that we don't want to. It's, it's legally our hands are tied. We cannot touch it. Um, who, there's always been, and, and I say always, in my recollection, there's been a grader that runs down there occasionally, once a year, once every couple of years. Who's been funding that? Do we know? So, <laughs> It gets complicated because the Corps of Engineers is responsible for a section of that road that's probably 500 yards beyond the bridge. <laughs> um, is this, for better terms, we all know what it is, Burnout Bridge, is that is that the one we're talking burnout about? Burnout Bridge, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so beyond that, uh, mm -hmm. that's is the Army Corps. To Clough State Park. Mm -hmm. um, we do the grading, and it's actually the state of New Hampshire who funds that uh, through DNCR funds. Okay generated from the timber on the park on the property yeah. and I can speak to that very briefly as well yeah. um, so where Matt's coming in here as far as our partnership goes is that the state of New Hampshire has a management license to work cooperatively with the US Army Corps and I'm sure you folks are familiar with our partnership uh, but in regards to that greater uh, we work with Nichols construction out of Dunbar yep. quite frequently Billy, yep. uh, great guy um, as a courtesy, over the years, Bill has actually gone through there okay. uh, with his grader, mm -hmm. you know, just to try to, you know, create that patch. I never knew who it was, but yeah. No, yeah, yeah okay. So Bill Nichols, that's his grader. Um, he's done phenomenal work for us in the past, and I know in past projects, he's just donated his time to kind of help maintain that stretch. And so where Matt and I are coming from is that we completely understand your position. We know... Um, the intent of we're coming from here is just to have this be an icebreaker type mm -hmm. meeting because we know historically there's been no designated maintenance plan on that section of road. Mm -hmm. But as land managers, you know, as and the public as well, it definitely affects all of us that stretch. And so um, we're trying to approach you in good faith because we know an alternative we have, which we don't want to approach it this way, would be to you know potentially shut off access entirely on that side from that east square side yeah just because we might have even more environmental impact i know we touched on that with the last gentleman who spoke here mm -hmm. um which we'd want to avoid we'd want to keep this you know landscape mm -hmm. open to the public so they can enjoy and they can recreate um and so again we did an anecdotal analysis out there of what it would cost to fix that road we estimated it to be between four to five thousand mm -hmm. dollars to fix that stretch and so that would be and again being sensitive to time that would be basically delivering, you know, six to eight trioxal loads of material, um, you know, before installing, you know, culverts, stuff like a couple of culverts, 16-inch mm -hmm. culverts, because um, we do have beaver issues in there as well. So, um, surprise, surprise. So, exactly. <laughs> so, but again, just to build off what Matt's saying, um, we just want to see what the options are. Mm -hmm. We understand your concern with the Class 6 road issue. Right. Um, but it definitely affects the whole landscape. Right. So. And I'm not trying to, to, to lessen the, the severity of it. Absolutely. I mean, we were just yeah. down there not too many, many moons ago with, with the rescue, uh, fire and rescue, yeah. and it's almost, it was almost impassable at that yes. point in time. So, yes. um, but where we can't touch it, that's kind of our hands. Yeah. But I do want to recognize Chief Azina. Yeah, so with the Class 6 roads, um, we could designate any of them, uh, but this one in particular, an emergency lane, which would allow us to spend some money in order to make it passable for mm. for us. Yeah. Uh, that was that was kind of I didn't know if we if that if that was going to play into it was was making the emergency aspect of it cuz obviously that's a, that could be a huge time difference between Sugar Hill and, and East Ware Road so yeah, um, depending on another, location. Another thing that goes into it like I I spoke with the Ware PD mm -hmm. and they had a DUI arrest on that road. And they were having trouble prosecuting that because it's not a designated town road. Right. Um, so maybe the class six is it the best classification for that road? Um, it's what it is. I don't really know a whole lot about how you classify. Un unfo <laughs> unfortunately, it is what it is because I mean, a class five is a, is a town maintained dirt road. So it's it's got standards, it's got drainage, it's got you know uh, um, um, pitch and everything else on it. 
Um, but class six, again, that's kind of like I said, the town town owns the property. Yes, but it's it's non maintained just like in the just like being in woods at that point. Um, sure, Naomi, is there a way that we could contact um, legal and find out kind of to Chief Azina's point um, about a, the fire lane or emergency access lane or and I'm not saying that we we're going to dump a bunch of money into this. I just it's it may alleviate some of our tied hands you guys is tied hands um like i said i'm not not saying this board of the town's committing to anything right away but at least that would might open up the door Thank and if the board if the board has anything else to say just please wipe up i was just curious is it from half moon meadow back out to the gate is that what you're talking about that area yes but the the water's over that road about a foot and a half two feet deep now well, there was a there's a car that's been broken down there since last Thursday that flooded out in that yeah. water, so they must have completely so. swamped. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so who's, who's responsible to get the beaver out? So it's a cooperative effort. Um, so so not to answer the question with a question, but it, it's a cooperative effort. So we work with New Hampshire Fish and Game quite a bit, yeah. and uh, they have a list of trappers that they you know usually work with year to year. So mm -hmm. uh, we do have trappers. Right. within that area but as i'm sure you know the challenge is how do we get you know new trappers more trappers interested in right. the trade because uh, right. it is declining so. right. my only, again and that would be kind of to, to a couple on to what selectman burdick said it might be my fear is if, if any monies were put in there from the town and then to have the beavers destroy it right and, and to your point you know um, like you said with the culverts that might yeah, might help that up. but until they, until they build a dam over the end of yes, this. Yes, and I'm sorry. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. It's, 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 so, and not to interrupt you, but, but in the past, I know in different projects, we've approached it with beaver deceivers, which aren't 100% effective. I understand that. But uh, at the same time, it, it's a good effort to try to okay. keep them back. So. All right. Yeah, I just, like I said, I just hate to see good money throwing it, you mm -hmm. know, throwing it bad at that point. So. I understand totally. But, um, all right, I think I think okay. the, 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 the conversation channel has been opened. Um, and like I said, at least we'll... We'll see about doing that. Again, I'm still kind of on the fence if, if you know, financial commitment, um, but at least that way there it opens up a door. If, if there was a donation, the town might be able to do something at our level, maybe even have our DPW go down there, and then that way there it's not, you know, it's not considered a legal act. Yeah. No, we so. appreciate that because we consider, you know, all you folks as a partner. Right. Oh, it is, so yeah. We, so we appreciate that, and mm -hmm. it's certainly not us. You know, given top-down, you know, commands. You know, we're all at the same level, so right. we just yep. want to work together and see what the options. No, are. So, I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Does the board have anything they want to speak to? No, no, not at this time. All right, gentlemen. I thank you guys thank coming you in. Much. Really thank, you. thank you. I think you had one last arriver for public comment. David. David came for public comment. Oh. Uh, David, did you come for public comment? I did. Sorry, I didn't make it. Okay. Um, board have any issues? No, that's good. No, no. That's fine. Five minutes. Um, David Erickson, Poor Farm Road. Um, I'm coming uh, after hearing that uh, Mr. Cahill was interested in the chance of recycling plastic again and wanted to support that effort. I've done some research on that in the past. One big problem is the um, Chinese don't want to buy our plastic because we don't clean it. We don't rinse when we take it. So some public education might help. But I also found that a um, little research online that the market for plastics is likely to go up. You're probably quite aware of that mm -hmm. with the cost of petroleum going up. Mm. Um, so hopefully, um, if we get ready for it, we, we could be saving ourselves some money on tipping fees. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Future. Did right. you want to educate me a little more to see if I have any more to say or? Well, Mr. Knapp, Ben Knapp, is, as he has said before, he doesn't want to pick a date, but he's, <coughs> we are researching it, and we are trying to get to a point where it physically makes sense. We can do it with the current staff we have, and yeah. then the, there is a financial issue. So um, the price is going up. Kevin, Currently at four I'm going to cut this short. Okay. I'm going to cut this short for the fact of uh, Director Knapp's not here. Okay. To to speak to speak to to oh, facts right. or, or figures or anything like that. So I don't I don't want to put false information. I'm not saying you have any false. I just don't want to put any out there that, that could be construed. It would. So the only information that I was reiterating tonight had previously been mm -hmm. in a meeting. So um, as it is front and center, 
I can, that's all I guess I can tell you right now yep. on both my agenda and Mr. Knapp's agenda. I'm glad to hear that. I, and um, I'm currently taking my plastic to Concord where they Yeah, the single stream. So. Right. Yes. Well, all right. Thank all right. you very Thank much. You very Thank you very much. much. Yep. Thanks for your effort. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right, we'll move on then to department head committee items. Uh, dispatch agreement with Chief Azina. I should say lack of. Did you keep a copy? I don't have a copy. Uh, so we are making progress to making the transfer to capillary mutual aid. Um, I think we're at the point now that we could make notification to Gosstown. Um, to notify them that you know, we're drawing from that contract. We have to give them 30 days notice. Uh, this we're looking to um, an effective date of October 1st. Requires, a, as you guys, the select Board of Selectmen signed the contract with the town of Goffstown that mm -hmm. would require yeah. you to do that. I took the liberty of drafting a letter um, My concern with that um, is it it's always possible. What are the li what's the likelihood of them saying, well, you gave us a thirty you gave us thirty days notice, but that's the minimum required. They cut us off, say July first or August first. Um, is that possible? The second paragraph, it's mutually agreed. So okay. I I just don't want to leave a, I just don't want to leave us without any kind of fire dispatch. I don't agree. think that that'll happen. Okay. While they're reviewing that, what's going to happen to our current fire frequencies that we have assigned to us by FCC? Are they going to be absorbed into capital area? Are we going to keep them for town frequencies? We're going to keep them because we, we own the license to that. Yep. Um, I can't envision, because it's so difficult to get, or more difficult today, I would imagine, than it was in the past to get a license, um, that we would maintain that and still have a, a we could use that as a talk around channel. Yep. Right. Uh, especially during storm events where it just gets very, very busy. So it's going to be like some of our neighboring towns that have a town frequency. That'll be our town frequency. Yeah, and that might be something that um, I'm not, I don't know how the police department radio system functions. I shouldn't say that. I do know how it functions. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they have a talk around channel like we do. Um, I, I think that they you know, do. That's something I car think they car. could benefit from. Uh, I think they do, but with, with the... Uh, I don't know if they have a channel that doesn't go through the repeater. I believe they do. Even if they do, I think they're using the first net phones as their talk around now, right. I believe. Yeah. Right. So. But I, I envision hanging on to those frequencies okay. for some period of time. Okay. Okay. Does the board have any questions for Chief Azina? I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion that we allow Chairman Hippo to sign the letter to Gosstown Dispatch, notifying them that we anticipate on removing ourselves from that dispatch October 1st of 2022. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Abstain. Thank you. Uh, the second item I had was just to go back and touch base again on the standby generators. Um, I had sent over a letter or a memo essentially just saying that as I understand it, the, the discussion of the police radio system did not include standby generators for the two new sites. Um, I reached out to the state. That still is a program that they do is, is through the EMPG grant. Um, it's a 50-50 cost share with the community. Um, up to each site, so our two sites, each one would be considered uh, separately. Uh, there's $150,000 per site, which we would split that cost with the state. We're not even gonna come close no. to that. Uh, our share could be in kind or a soft match, so we could put, say, DPW labor to install a foundation for the generator. Mm -hmm. You know, All that stuff would, would go towards our 50% match. Um, my experience with generators through this program is that uh, other than that type of work, there really is not a lot of financial outlay on the part of the town. 
I would liken it to probably the, um, the gazebo project where DPW came in and provided some labor. There's some other mm -hmm. miscellaneous things, but all of that would go to offset what our, uh, what our match would be. Uh, it does require a couple of things on our end, um, nothing that we will probably were not going to do anyways. One, we need to have a uh, historic preservation, um, an environmental and historic preservation review. That's just because you're going to break ground, uh, and it requires us to update our emergency operations plan, which needs to be updated. The generators, uh, um, depending on what brand they are, can we find out what it would cost for some kind of a preventative maintenance agreement for cha oil changes? No, nope. uh, it's really just at this point was um, I brought in our the electrician that we typically use um, to kind of get a size. Mm -hmm. uh, Assuming that we were going to buy a generator that powered the radio site and the fire station that it's whose property it's on. Yep. Um, so the south end is is bigger because it's a just a bigger facility. Um, so we're somewhere between twelve to sixteen kW for the basic operations of the facility mm -hmm. um, because that is an electric hot water heater has a well pump has a, all things that take electricity. Uh, or 20 to 24 K mm -hmm. W for the whole to run the whole thing east where uh, is 10 K W would be plenty the radio sites themselves are about five okay now what about who who's going to be maintaining them in terms of doing the oil changes the that, that yeah, kind of thing I, I would assume that as we get closer that we would have um, that we would develop some sort of program if we go really local Mm -hmm. um, such as someone like Yashkremsky, right? Yep. You could you could contract with them for a maintenance okay. program. Um, the company that Two Way typically uses is called, I think, the Generator Connection out of Barrington. Yep. Yeah. But they do the same thing. They okay. You could get anything from they'll just come and change the oil to they'll monitor the system and yep. let you know mm -hmm. if there's something. Okay. Not quite right. Uh, really, my purpose of bringing it back up is: do, Would you like me to continue? to work towards this, not necessarily make grant application at this point, but work towards getting a package together. I feel that'd be a good idea. I, I think I think even even not trying to discredit, but even the radios aside, I think it's still a good good idea to have backup power at these at the stations. That's comparable. I mean we do have a backup generator at South End, but we don't own it. We don't own it and what does it run? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I'm not even sure how big it is. It's kind of yeah, new Boston. they came out of New Boston. It was a hand-me-down. So to me, it's it really doesn't have one down there. It runs, but maybe. Um, so I, I just, I, I think at, at any rate, I think it's it's still good. Um, it's a good idea. I think it's worth continuing yeah. the, the, the forward progression. Here. Um, I, I would think with the simulcast site, right, is that should you get into a situation right. where you have any storm, Right. Thing, but like the storm of Thanksgiving where we lost power yep. for four days, mm -hmm. uh, will make your radio system useless. Yeah. Oh. And, may, and maybe this is putting the cart before the horse a little bit, but would it at that point probably benefit us to change the tank arrangement at South Station to a larger tank? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, space is a premium down there, so yeah, that's for sure. It'd be interesting <laughs> to see where it all fits. Yeah, I've not seen a site plan for South, so I, I okay. can't really speak to that. Yeah. Um, what was I going to ask? Is that if if so if, if we pursue we are granted, where would we be able to get said funds from? Well, I think we looking at the timetable, you have you're not building anything this year. No, related to the radio is my. That's just an assumption on my part. Um, so if you're looking at something that's going to be a 2023 budget, but I mean, as a something budget item. you could probably work on. Okay. Right, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. You know, right okay. now, it's not costing us anything for him to continue to. Let no, it it's not. I just, I'm just thinking that I don't want to put us, have him do all this work and then have us come short of funds. That's all. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want to cross that bridge later and come to a roadblock. So, um, I personally have no issue with Chief no, moving forward. No, I think it's a great as you, idea. As you, as you present it, the. We could basically, our cost for the generator grant would be minimal with the exception of the maintenance plan and... If we move forward with that. If we move forward with that, which we would... 
certainly need if we're going to have a system a you know, big I, investment right i don't now. disagree right okay. yeah i would you may even add it to the my sense is it's not going to be a caterpillar like the yeah yeah general complex complex it will be more like a cooler yep industrial yeah. kind of thing. Right. right yeah small yeah residential type yeah okay Thank you, sir. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. All right, move to the library chimney and elevator repairs discussion. Recognize Clay. Thank you. You bet. This is a it has a refresher. So the um, in the last, you know, so I explained the situation in the last meeting. Um, nothing's changed as far as the you know the condition of the chimney. It's, but um, I've since received additional estimates, as you will see on uh, summarized on the first page. Um, so now I have each uh, Northland J.R. Masonry and Ryan Gagon have given me estimates for the repair of the base of the chimney and also repointing the, the topper portion of the chimney, the upper portion, approximately five or six feet of the upper portion. Um, the, there was, Naomi asked in the last meeting if there were funds. I spoke with a, a couple members of the foundation. Also, upon research, it looks like that the the Edgar Jones and the Ruth Jones funds would um, were not intended to be used for maintenance and repairs. Okay. Um, the building inspector has not been over yet. Okay. Clay, have you looked at any of the work that this uh, Ryan Gagnon masonry has done? Just what's on his website. Okay. Got some pictures uh, on his website. But. Where is he? Where is he located? Goffstown. Goffstown. Oh, so he's in local. Going. Yeah. All three of these guys are fairly local. Yeah. I'm just looking at Dumbarton. Yeah. Goffstown, Hopkinton. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I would. I did have. It was difficult finding people to give me free estimates. You know, they were either well booked up for months or asked for money up front. Look at the second. Look at the. Look at this photograph. This is that troubles me here. So this course of brick is actually too thin. Yeah, I see that. And how did it? What's? How did they snap? Do you follow me? I think words, that that's. I think that's deck. I think. Well. No, it, but there. But that that brick is a decorative brick, correct? But, right. But, but it's the full depth. You see what's remaining? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just can't imagine the the force it took to push that. To snap that brick, the amount of water or something. Mm. That well, the water there. must have got in behind they, it. Well, that's that's what I'm thinking happened. The froze, water got behind it and froze, froze it, and popped it. And popped that's, it, and then yeah. it kept getting water in it and freezing and popping. Yeah, it's just okay. So that I think that's where that we're being at now. The case, right? But will this mitigate the water? Well, I think getting it all all pointed back up and and sealed up, I think we'll we'll yeah. fix it. Otherwise. It's right. going to keep coming apart. Well, you, like, you can see where it's already starting to push away further back. Mm, you can yeah. see that, that line crack that goes up in there. Oh, yeah. 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 So. The, it is, um, an, <laughs> the numbers aren't close, right? No, not really. No. no. That's why I asked how, if he'd seen any of the work done by the 
Ryan Gagnon there. And, and the, the top concern, excuse me, Claire, I wasn't here last time. So the top concern is just the fact that the mortar is falling out of the bricks. Yes, Am I correct in saying that? It's got to be repointed. For the base, yeah. I no, mean, no, at, at, the, at the top. The top, um, it, I was told that it's, you know, it's, uh, it's not <laughs> water damage. I don't right. Know. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Periodic it, repointing has to happen. It's, it's common. Right. I mean, nothing is, to my knowledge, has fallen off of it. Right. Okay. But it's preventative maintenance, essentially. Yes. So you're just going to exas like in this image. That, right. You can see that yeah. there's nothing there. Right. Yeah. That has to be filled in. And these, this old, this is just not a good mortar match. Right. What we're seeing here is someone else's. Right. Repointing Att attempt. It, yeah, right. repointing at some point, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what is the board's feelings on this? When is the earliest they can come out to do this? Are we talking fall or next spring? I didn't get a date no. scheduled from each of them, so. <coughs> a... Can I just suggest, so typically you, the, fire, the uh, building inspector would look at it. Mm -hmm. I would think you would, at a minimum, ask for some projects that they've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then their insurance. Yep. So there's still some, right. and then maybe when they get started at best. Right. Yeah, I mean, we, the that's the questions day. after, when you see the HVAC ones, you'll see that's what we just went through all right. that. Right. Um, because well, if maybe next year, I don't know what people's workload are. Right. Well, I'm just, I just, I'm, in, I'm not disagreeing with you, but um, to to the point is, um, Clay's done a lot of legwork here. Yeah. And we, if if we're gonna ask him to do more, we need to have a conclusive list. Yeah. Um, I think I think you guys asked him to come back last time, and here he is again. And I think. Right. Because he found. I third. think we just need to say, you know, he found if, a third contractor. He only had two. Yeah. Right, so exactly. he's done the legwork, and I think that that if we're going to send him away again with more homework, that we need it needs to be all inclusive, and we don't ask questions next time. Exactly. Right. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So I think we owe, I think we owe it to Clay, and I appreciate your time, sir. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, um, my but I guess I guess let's get the board's consensus on what we want to do for scope of work before we get too carried away. Um, at, well, Gagnon's number, you know, is. Is 40, uh, 5,300 to fix the entire thing. Yeah. Um, I don't, personally, I don't want to really tackle the top at this point in time on default budget when we didn't put any money into the into the uh, reserve fund for building maintenance. With that said, I personally am a proponent to fix the base to stop the popping of all the brick off of it. Because, um, like I said, it's just inviting. You can see the water is bleeding right out of it. So, you know, as it freezes, it's only going to get worse. Um, I'd be a proponent of just fixing the bomb at this time from that government building maintenance fund. But that's just, I'm just one voice. Well, I'm a big proponent of preventative maintenance, and it's, it is just going to get worse. And it's going to, the $2,500 number to, to do this is extremely fair number. Correct. Because right. he's going to have to take this down almost yeah. to the foundation. Right, which he probably realizes that. Yeah. You know, to do it correctly. But, but to me, that's the base. That's kind of what's holding things up. I don't want to really affect anything behind that because it's popping and cracking. Um, where the top, I understand it doesn't look pretty and there, there's more falling out, but I think we might be able to table that till next year. Yeah. Clay, it's going to be interesting. This ornamental brick that what, which I was referring to asking Rick about earlier. Um, it's going to be interesting how he's going to match that. I, I think he's probably going to end up cutting a brick. It wouldn't be that. As long as that, it's close, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm okay yeah, with a it. A shelf. Right. Yeah, oh, just letting you know, though, in case yeah. he, you know, when he comes back. And it, it's the, the only other consideration is that he, he won't be able to remove these. No, no. they're in. So, no, uh, so but they so look, they look have, healthy, though. Yeah, they do. But we would we would we will just have a joint, and a horizontal joint here that we're going to have to. To watch. me, that we're going to have to live with yeah. at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, location on the library is this on the um, East Road no. tennis court side? Yeah. Side. No. Okay. So it's the side facing the historical building. Okay. Stone building. Yeah, it's okay. Just around the corner. All right. Um, 
So I guess with that said, where does the board want? What where where does the board want Clay to move towards? Just this restor the the uh, repair at the base, or do the whole thing? Well, I think you should do the whole thing. I think you're just gonna keep working away. The water's gonna get in up on that chimney, and it's just gonna keep working away. And if you don't get right back on it, well, again, I'm I'm yeah, I, I want to. You're being yeah, very conservative. <laughs> Which right, you have to be. I'm not. Yeah, I agree, Rick. I'm not. I'm not discrediting that there that there's fault at the top. Mm. What I'm discrediting is the fact that we don't have any money. And and while this to me the bottom well, the is the bottom's the worst. It is the worst and needs to be repaired before it gets a lot worse with more water and more mm -hmm. freezing. Um, but but don't lose sight of the, top. the upper chimney for next year. Yeah. Um, again, we didn't put any money into that that reserve fund. Um, we have always, since I've been a member on this board, and I'm sure back to Tom's days, um, we do like we we always like to keep it right around the sixty thousand mark or below that. So, um, and current times are three times what everything used to be. So, yeah. well, I think um, that's a good price. I just I just want to get the again. I just want to get a, a idea of the scope to bring to Clay to say this is what we want you to do. Provide some exactly. and provide your your your. You know, your references for said work and your insurance for said work. So, Clay, just um, I think just a question to, for you to ask Mr. Gagnon is demo at the points out and uh, rebuild. We'll I don't choose think he's going to tear down right. much of anything. The other two are. They, they say it. They're going to well, chisel it well, down one. Exactly. This guy's just going to chisel the points out and rebuild it. Well, demo at the Doesn't say anything about. Well, exactly. Well, this, there's just if you're absolutely right, John. So we we need just a clarification of wh what his scope is. It's it's just too vague. Yeah. Before we'd ever approve that, right? So and the numbers are such a huge spread mm -hmm. that it's like almost looks too good to be true. Right. So um, let's get a clarification. Let's so he's not waste his time. Stay to the base. I think that's now. I think that's the consensus of the board. Yeah. Stay at the base. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know Mr. Van's been very quiet down there. I'm against this entire project. It's an aesthetic chimney. It's, as of right now, it serves no functional purpose. Being in a default budget, um, we just don't have the money. I have serious concerns about our salt bu our salt budget, um, and I'm just. Con I'm sorry. What was the comment out there? What was the comment? I didn't hear that. Some about brick falling. I'm not in public. No, I just want to address that comment that I heard, something about brick falling. Well, I would be concerned with that. Okay. Um, based on the amount of overgrowth here, I don't think there's going to be a lot of foot traffic. Again, just one person. I'm not a, I'm not for it this, this year. Okay. Okay. So back to, if you can ask this, right now the board's leaning to getting the base fixed. Okay. But he needs to just clarify the scope, and we need to make sure that the scope it matches up apples to apples with the other two mm -hmm. bidders. Okay. Yeah. So more just so kind of like a point by point detail of what he. Yeah. Is exactly. Doing. This is, is he going to pull all that all that stuff that's already loose down? Yeah. No, we, this really needs to be removed, Clay, for no. effective. Everything. If you yeah. look at this side view, you can see where she starts pushing out. You need to come down. Probably almost, almost to the bottom. Almost to the bottom, maybe 18 inches off the bottom. Yeah, right. four or five rows from the bottom. Yeah. And start start fresh. Right. I mean, in a okay. V pattern, but start fresh up. There, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. at the points out, I mean, it sounds like he's he's not going to do the full base, and he needs to do the full base. But what does that mean? I don't even no. understand. The, what, what the full base is? I'm no, just... what points out. Right, yeah. Right. And, that, the, and that's all we want clarification a for. A definition yeah. of that. Yeah, okay. And the thing is, too, is, is obviously when they get up on the roof, it's a different insurance tier. So that's the other thing, too, is is that's probably why it's more money, obviously, to go up there and do it, because now you're talking staging, a different oh, insurance, because yeah. you're yeah. on on you're off the ground, et cetera. So, so everything um, slows down. So I think the consensus of the board, and maybe I'm, I'm I think I'm getting a pretty good pulse here, is just is just repair the base at this point in time. Um, but to to clarify what um, right. um, Mr. Gagnon is. All right. Okay. So if um, so, I need to come back to the next meeting with this clarification then. Okay. And insurance, proof of insurance, proof of insurance. list of references, and list of references if possible. Okay. Can we still have the building inspector inspect this, please? Yes, please. So what? It, 
is it necessary for Clay to come back, or can he just supply us with that information? I mean, I can come back. I yeah, it, it, can you? Don't mind. Can yeah. you email us that? It would, I think that'd be okay if he if you email us that update information, or email Naomi and she can distribute it to us. You're on your second. Um, and that way, there we can cut to the chase sooner. I'll give you a green light. And maybe you you may not have to come back. We can just vote on it if you give us all the information that way there. Okay. I mean, I just work just right. <laughs> just yeah, right you're only across the, the way. So yeah, I mean, right. I can, so. if you're still open and at work. Perfect. Yeah, but. Okay. All right. And then we have an elevator issue. Um, the elevator, well, it's, it's already been taken care of and okay. repaired. So okay. um, is there any questions about it? or like What happened? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> I thought that you were going to come to us for that. There was mention that <coughs> oh, okay. um, the chimney and then all of a sudden, you know, it, things usually happen in threes. <laughs> so Gosh. the elevator was Just don't crap one. the pump again. What? Yeah, so you've had the the well already. Now you've got the chimney. Now you got so right. when yeah. the elevator. I heard about the elevator. I didn't know that you if you were coming here or not for the elevator. Okay. Well, um, I I received email from Beth that all that you said it was okay. That I can just go ahead and agree to the work. And you well, you need it. the elevator. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the so. thing though. I mean, the elevator's kind of got to work. Thing. Yeah. That's got to work. Well, no, no. It's not just safety. It's to do ADA. with handicap and ADA. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't want the ADA so coming after us. So I put I it out it here. Like so uh, Beth and I did talk, and I said he needs yeah. his elevator. What was what was the scope? So of we work weren't gonna we weren't gonna it? wait for two more weeks to fix right. the elevator. No. Yeah. Mm. What was the scope of working with? What was it was one thousand two hundred ninety five dollars. What the issue was that it was it was not moving. I mean, it was making noise, but not moving. So uh, a gentleman from uh, New Hampshire Elevator came. He 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 uh, greased it up. I said, you know, this is a temporary fix. It's it's uh, you know you're going to need a grease box replacement. You know, and like okay, send me the estimate for that, right? And then that day it stopped working again. And so I was like, okay, well I guess we need that. There's so much to estimate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So I yeah so I, I guess we need a grease box then. So um, okay. And then do you have now, an annual inspection um, every year? Yes, we do. Okay, good. And it passes inspection, but I mean, I knew that something was up because it was really noisy and squeaky. I mean, it's okay. it sounded terrible. So it's, now, it, now, now it sounds good. Don't want anybody stuck on um, it. Well, how long's that elevator been in there for a good a good number of years? Right. Nineteen ninety. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. here we are working on thirty plus years. I mean, way it's, longer than our elevator here. Yeah. 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 So. All right, it is what it is. Like I said, it's gonna be fixed. Yeah, at right. that that's, point, that that's that was something what I like said that. To Beth, something like I that just has to be fixed. While he was coming, he could yeah. mention the elevator. Oh, well, we appreciate okay. that. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, okay. very all right. good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Yep. All right, and we will award. Brings us okay. to awarding the HVAC okay. bids. Right. So you guys have the breakdown. Ooh. Okay. So we um. We put out to bid mm -hmm. um, the ductless mini split, but we did it for heating and cooling. So basically, Beth summed it up in your email uh, in the top sheet, and we called them vendor one two three four instead of using names at this point. Um, so we opened them on Friday, and nine toured the building, but only eight submitted bids. Uh, so if you look at your list. Um, just a stickler on my part. If you ask for A, B, and C and you can't no, yeah. follow A, B, and C, what are you going to do? Yep, I agree. So seven and eight um, didn't submit everything that was asked for in the RFP. Um, five and six, um, we did have the Mitsubishi ref here, ref, rep, excuse me. Um, but if you look at number five and six, um, I mean, I could have cared either way. Myself, I don't know much about the other ones. Mm -hmm. um, Mitsubishi is what we're always used to. But then if you take a look at um, vendor number one, vendor number one um, has actually the greatest, other than four, the amount of BTUs. He took the time to measure the room, size them appropriately, talk to us about what the uses of each room is, um, for instance, this building, this room here, I explained there's always people in it, mm -hmm. and it's very warm. It's nice when no one's in here, but you add 20 people to the room, body heat, all of us. So they um, went a little higher on that one. Um, the cable room, it's got equipment running all the time. That gets very warm. Mm -hmm. So um, we... Looked also, my personal preference, I looked at, you know, the 
d uh, delivery and installation date too. Mm -hmm. um, because the ones uh, in that end of the building do not work at all. The ones on this side work a little bit, but not much. Um, number one basically met everything that we wanted. Mm -hmm. He brought the Mitsubishi ref, w ref with him when he came out. Mm -hmm. They walked around, did everything. Um, so that's my guess that I would. I have them all here if you care to take a peek as far as details. Well, I think, personally, I think it, it, it speaks volume that they measured actually the square they did, footage and, they did the square footage and, and, and the put their foot forward to, to make an accurate, yeah. you know, an accurate bid. It took a long time, number one did. And that's fine. Yep. Um, I'd rather have, like I said, some time spent making accurate calculations and just yeah. winging it. Yeah, the unit sizes are similar to anyway. I mean, right. there's not any big, so, yeah. Right. It doesn't look like there's anything, but... Nothing jumped out. No. Nothing jumps out. Um, the in insurance is here. The W-9's here. The breakdown of the rooms is here. Um, the one that jumps out at me is odd. Number four makes the comment, panel upgrade by owner. Right, and uh, the rest of them included it in their bid. Okay, so they're including it in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on top of I that. I want to make sure it just wasn't forgotten about. Yeah, no, okay. there's a lump sum. There's a lump sum for wiring. Yep. Yep. Okay. And one did put at owner's expense. Mm -hmm. um, because these are actually, some of them are bigger, as you know. These right. seven, been, they haven't, some of them are not sized appropriately. Correct. Any um, chances to include disposal of the old units because it has refrigerant in them? Or is that going to be an added cost? Hang on. Because how many units do we have now currently? Nine. Nine, okay. And there's also, I have a question on the, um, on the top one too is, um, there was the FS Deluxe and the GL series difference. Okay. What's probably, probably a model issue. Cause I'm assuming if so. You, if it's you look size. at it, the size. Yeah. Well, I just want to make sure that the monetary value doesn't change per se at the end because we're using the GL series. Okay, so let me just, so in Northeast Climate, um, it says installation includes cost of subcontracting electrician to upsize wire breaker to because we're adding... Two, we mm -hmm. have to have right. an AC out there and one upstairs. Right. Seven, Diversitec metal 12-inch stand with pad. <coughs> Placing white fortress covering where necessary because there's a lot of it's still in good shape. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that's probably a lot of the difference, some of the difference. Replacing all refrigerant lines with UV DuraGuard line sets. Nitrogen pressure test. Leak checking with flare connection. Calculating length of run. I'm sorry, length of line. Set run to ensure proper refrigerant charge. Mm -hmm. Final walkthrough and explanation of all safety and future preventive maintenance requirements. Recycle, remove and recycle the existing units. Okay, okay. good. Registration mm -hmm. yep. of products with Mitsubishi Electric. Okay, that answered that question. Um, so the answer, it's it will be. Um, so the plan is to two year warranty for labor, um, for equipment, and the warranty may be voided if we have somebody else play with it. Mm -hmm. Which is probably project will completed in five, six to eight hour work days. That's not horrible. What's the location of vendor number one? Uh, what town? Brookline, New Hampshire. Okay, so they're local-ish. Ish. Yeah, we have Rick. Okay to ask it's not usually the practice of the board to have question and answer time outside public comment. If the board wants to change that. That's fine. It just it's not usually pr common practice. So. I guess, it, what does it relate to? Um, suggestion, uh, you might want to do heating and cooling. We did. They, they, are. they are. They are. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. No, no, that's okay. Yep, they are. They are mini split heating and cooling systems. Excellent. We thought mm -hmm. about that just as the price of fuels. Sure. Yeah. Not going to go down any. And at this point, it'd be ignorant not to. Right. Yep. Well, it would be a nice. With the heat pump. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Just it's to break the, break the chill. Yeah. And it's an alternative. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, I think it sounds like vendor one has it has it pretty well. A, yeah, a, 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 a complete yeah. a complete yeah. package. Package. He um, spent probably the most time here. Right. Um, the I guess my only question: Did he speak of anything of maintenance contract cost? 
for the at least for the minimum of two year warranty period. So we are so just if you look at the RFP, um, we have a five year minimum equipment warranty and a one year installation. He offered two year, and then he also offered us training so that people know how to use them. There was nothing to do with. Is there any monetary going. attached to it? Um. Well, just to follow up with what Selectman Van was talking about with the generators, I mean, this, to, I'm sure that to keep the warranty, like when we did the Southware furnace, um, that we have to have this company maintain it for the minimum of the warranty period, hmm. I would assume. Even if it's an annual checkup. Well, there's a comment that it voids the warranty if somebody else. Correct. It, yeah. Right. But what's the cost of them? Well, just, I don't know. I that's don't, my, my um, question. It's just, that's not written in there. But with that said, it's still, I mean. It would extend it because it's covered for two years. He's covering it for two. Right. There's, it, I mean, there's a substantial monetary difference in the quotes yeah. that, to me, would make up for even him being a little heavier hmm. on, his, on his maintenance agreement. You could probably negotiate that, though. Yeah, I would like to think so. Yeah. And they also talked about um, I, he's the only one that offered. Um, they we requested each one to be on a stand with a pad, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he also let me know that um, there's an option of mounting five out of the seven units with on the concrete wall bracket, so it sits close to the building and out of the weather. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that option too. I like that. Yeah. Um, it'll improve aesthetics on the exterior. All right. Um, to answer your question earlier about the FS versus GL series, mm -hmm. GL series is just a more efficient version. Okay. That's well, that's, that's the only thing looking. Okay. There. Thank you. Probably because it's a bigger unit to begin with. Possibly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the board's consensus? Yeah. It seems like, it, to me, it's a no-brainer. This is money that you encumbered from last year. Right. And yeah. we encumbered how much? 60? It's a little more than that. Was it? Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'd still like to go with I, my thought is vendor number one. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to form as a motion. Well, you can see if you're content with mm -hmm. the information, there's no reason why we can't list them all. I just didn't want to for having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in case you needed something more. No. All right. So I guess at this point, all right. So we'll go down through it. <laughs> so I know I made a motion, but we'll 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 go down through it. Said them. there were nine. There's 11. I was going to say there's 11 here. There's 11 because we currently have nine yeah. of these, yeah. adding two. Two, okay. Because there's, none, there's so. none in the administrator's office upstairs where Karen was. Yeah. And there's none out there where Copy. the copier and that is, and it's hotter Hot. than. Mm -hmm. Sun bakes in there. It does. Sun yeah. comes in. So yeah. that was the addition, yeah. and everybody looked at it, and they all were taken around on the tour. Yeah. Okay. Good. And they showed the electrical panel and everything. So. All right. Good. All right. So I'll go down through the vendors. Um, again, we s submitted an RFP out. Um, pretty clear cut what we wanted, and some came back with most of it. Some came back with none of it. So. Uh, vendor one, Northeast Climate. Uh, vendor two would be Airmaster Heating and Cooling. Vendor three is Blue Wind Service HVAC. Vendor four, Alliance Group Inc. Vendor five, HVAC Integration. Vendor six, North Shore Home Energy. Vendor seven, uh, I'm assuming it's Energy. It's ENE. ENE Systems of uh, New Hampshire. And vendor eight with Moral Heating and Cooling LLC. Um, so, um, again, my motion stands uh, to use Vendor 1 Northeast Climate um, for the amount, total cost of $44,040. I'll second it. Move and second. Is there all in favor? Yes. 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 Just for clarification, do you want to just, so everybody knows what the prices were of everybody. I can add them to the. Okay. Yeah, yeah. no, if you want to say them, that's fine. Vendor, I was going to add them to the minutes okay. anyway. Yep. Airmaster was 55802 Blue was 60724 Alliance was $89,329 with panel upgrading done by the owner. Uh, HVAC integration, $45,945. North Shore Home, 52.8. ENE uh, e Systems, 53.513. And Moral at 59900 And Northeast Climate can start on this July 4th week. Yeah, I'll, we can get yep. right back to him. Yep. 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 So that's pretty quick. Hey, I don't want this. How did I get that? You got one too, huh? Yeah, I don't want this. You can have mine. For every two, gonna, I didn't mail out. I told you, I'm, I'm going to give it back to you. I could, and I wasn't driving all over town to deliver everything. Return the sender. Oh Address unknown. 
Did you, you nice get one try. of these too? I did. Mine's a little less okay. than yours, but not yeah. by much. Okay, just to let you know, um, I'll switch in your them. next no. two, there's a 50% down. So you'll see a check for $22,020 when one. you're not here. Yeah. So that we can get them started and get them to work. Okay. And can you, um, do you want to authorize yourself or authorize me to sign the contract with them? Make right. a motion we authorize the town administrator to sign the contract with... Northeast climate. Northeast climate. Second. Move second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Also? yes. Okay. Brings us to the manifest. Um, move to order of treasurer sign payroll accounts payables. Excuse me. Checks dated June 9th, 2022 is including the following manifest. A payroll manifest of $76,215.69 weekly payroll. Accounts payable of $92,804.60. Uh, John Stark, $500,000. Ware School, $400,000. For a total of $1,069,020.29. The following manifests were previously ordered to be signed to the May 16th meeting of the Ware Board Selectmen. Uh, payroll manifest is $71,261.34 for weekly and monthly payrolls. Checks date 526. Accounts payables manifest $58,408.62. Checks dated 526. Supplemental accounts payable uh, $7,150, check dated 526. Payroll uh, manifest $69,530.95 for weekly payroll, checks dated 62. And accounts payable manifest of $45,419.76 for checks dated 62. As there is no selections being scheduled for Monday, June 13th, further order the treasurer to sign payroll checks dated June 16th, estimated to be about $75,000. Further, or the treasurer is signed up to the amount of 90000 for accounts payables that cannot wait until next scheduled meeting. Reports and actual check amounts be reported to the board selectmen by inclusion in the manifest memo at the next scheduled meeting. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. 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 You got your pager on? I don't. Okay. But I'd be getting a text message if we had the big one. I'm just curious. I got a text from a citizen nope. about something. Nope. Not that I know. Okay, you get several sets of minutes. I don't want to do any of them. How's that sound? No, we did that last time. We kick it down the road and it takes longer. The, who's this we? I wasn't here. You were here in spirit. <laughs> you were watching TV. I know you. I, I, yeah, I was watching. I can't say <laughs> as I wasn't doing that. You're right. Yes. All right. Let me get to the site here. Do, 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 do. Where in each? We will start with the meeting minutes of April 18th. We're struggling. I don't go back that far. Go to the website. I'm already on there. With 22. I'm working on it. Stop yelling at me. I'm sensitive. Mm -hmm. Then you don't want my next comment then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, page one. <laughs> Do we need to mute the mics? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on page one. Page two. Uh, two. Page three. Nothing on three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Make a motion to accept the minutes of April 18th, 2022 as written. Second. Move a second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Move to the 20th. Page one. Yeah. <coughs> Page two. Make a motion. We accept the minutes of April twentieth, twenty twenty two, as written. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. Yes. The twenty fifth. Page one. And page two. Um. Make a motion we approve the April 25th meeting minutes as written. Second. Move and seconded. All in favor? Yes. 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 Abstained? Abstained. Okay. 
abstentions, abstains. Listen to me. It's been a day. Uh, May 2nd, page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Move to approve the May 2nd meeting minutes as written. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Abstentions? Abstain. The 9th of May. Would you want to do a correction? Did I have a correction? I don't know. No, you called me with a correction and I didn't oh. fix it because I already sent it out. Hold on. I don't remember. I don't think it was that far back. No, it was a sentence I didn't finish because I cut and pasted. I didn't see it. I read it tonight. I think that may have been the 16th. I don't know if we've been. Okay. I don't think we got there yet. Kay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to move to approve the May 9th meeting minutes as written. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. 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 I don't see the minutes of the 23rd on the website. Yeah, yeah me either. Haven't gotten them yet. Okay, good. Okay. I'm good. Page one for the sixteenth. Two. Three. Page five. Four. Uh, yes. Five. Page yes. five at the bottom. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, under uh, section two, radio communications, mm -hmm. the end of the paragraph seems to have. Disappeared. disappeared. Yeah. Yes. It stops after savings in the other words. Have I, tea. I just left them in there. No. Mr. T. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, six and seven. Make a motion. We accept the minutes of May 16th, 2022 as amended. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. Uh, yes. I'm going to abstain. Okay. We cleaned those up quite a bit. Okay. Um, okay, I handed you around a, a joint loss. They had their initial meeting on Wednesday, May 25th at 9.30, and the officers are selected as follows. Um, uh, Sergeant Montpleasure is going to chair the committee. Uh, Katie is going to be the secretary, and their next meeting is July 13th at 9.30. Granite State, um, the radio communication, I had emailed the information back to the gentleman at Granite State to get the price for the fiber optic. We still do not have the second half money yet. Um, I've also asked two-way to get me no later than June 20th for a de deadline because I'm expecting us to get the money soon. Thank you. I both asked for them for the 20th. Mm -hmm. All right, it's going to bring you to the next page, the next item. So we started, um, our phone system is archaic at best, and every time we need to move an office around, um, we have to bring Granite State in and, and kind of fix things around. So basically, um, we started this process in January to get some new phones. Uh, we finally have the paperwork to do so. Um, we had encumbered some money to equipment set up so that we can get some new phones. So right now, um, we're looking at having an updated phone system, which would be nice. So the, hang on. So the non-reoccurring charges of setup is 6,336. And equipment is 4,408. And then the regularly monthly charge for all of it is 357.06 a month, which that's a reoccurring in your budget anyway. Where are we at currently for the reoccurring? Uh, you were gonna ask that. I don't remember. <laughs> you knew you were gonna ask It'd be that. similar though, you think? It's, I think it's a little similar. Um, It'll just be a lot nicer. It's going to be kind of the system the fire department went to last year. Um, 
The price on the equipment. Is that today's pricing or is that an yeah, old quote? Yeah, this is hot off the press today. Oh, good. Okay. So that's why we can't wait. Um, I just want to get it started. Right. Before we end up. And we encumbered this money? You did. I don't through, remember that. Through setup. Um, I don't either. I don't remember that. Mm, well, there's money there encumbered. Because we certainly don't have it now. We wouldn't have had it to do this. No, and that's my my thought is if we encumbered the money. Um, Why are we just now getting around to spending it? Why? Because it took me since January to get this. Okay. Yeah, Grant yeah. Our lease yeah. our lease was up in January. Yeah. Okay. Grant and I tried like you're to, a little behind. Yeah, I tried to get numbers, mm -hmm. you know, um, and we did a... A wag. So we so we're close on the on the on, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. We encumbered the money out of twenty one. Correct. With the intention of doing this? Yeah, because our lease was up and we needed new phones. Mm. I just don't I don't remember that's all. Okay. All right. So do we need to make a motion for you to sign a contract, or what do, what do you need? That's what I was asking, so we could get at least stuff ordered for, to, well, at least get it back to them tomorrow. It's now June. Yeah. Could be till December before we get them, but I'm, I'd like to get it started. Seeing how long it's taken us to get the number. Yeah, for the fiber started. optics, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, if we encumbered money in 2021, let's get it done. Yeah. I'll make a motion we authorize Town Administrator Bolton to... Proceed with the phone system upgrade for the town office. Second. Move and second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Great. Thank you. Did that. Um, I haven't done any new contracts since the ACs you guys did tonight. Collins is on hold. Um, I thought now on five. I thought that we we encumbered that. I didn't think that that was ARPA money. We decided on. You know, it, hang on, so let me, but time out. I've always put it as ARPA, right. and then you opted to not use the ARPA, ARPA, and so I've left it on here as ARPA, and call it whatever you like. Right, but yeah. we encumbered that money out of 2021. You encumbered all of those projects that we were going to use because you opted to say. And the AC yep. was one of them. The so we would remove ARPA from that sentence? I can take that out yeah. of there. Yeah. I just want to, yeah, because. What do you want to call it, encumbered money? Yeah, 2021 yeah. encumbered money. Yeah. 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 Call it whatever you like, but yes, exactly. Yeah. It's not ARPA because you yeah. not opted to ARPA. Because we wanted it systems. for the radio right. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, seven for asbestos. Um, two companies reached out, and I'm just waiting to get two. So I was hoping that we could do it and get the um, asbestos numbers because conservation is meeting on Wednesday, and they like to mm. get that started and underway for that piece of property. The other um, we'll have to talk about as far as the Buzzle Hill property when we get those numbers and see what happens there. Uh, nine, eight, nine, um, driveway blonde, no. Uh, the rental ordinance, I think I all kind of got a hold of you. Uh -huh. um, you've probably, if you've subscribed, you've seen the ad. I did put it out on Facebook. Um, so it's oh, the notice? The public notice is out yeah, on Facebook. Notice. That's, so it is uh, on the website, and then on the website is also got the rental ordinance on there. Okay, good. So it's there and available for everybody. I haven't had a chance to do the wear reps, but it's my understanding they're pretty much done for the year. Uh, but I'd like to know. I think they're going to be signing up here soon. Okay. Um, my schedule until on Tuesdays, you know that I'm off. I did go Friday and Monday because I have a personal thing to do up north. And then I'll be away at the conference, but I'm always going to have my phone and my cell, okay. my cell phone and my laptop will be and with the me. And the 23rd, time. that's a Thursday? 23rd is a Thursday night. Just back back to that, will we, will we receive updated copies? Because I'm still working on that original draft. Oh, yeah, draft. thank you. Yeah, yeah. That, it's like... Send the board. I have it upstairs with red right through the middle. It says draft. Oh. Yeah, I still have Bruce's hen scratching on the one. Oh, I'm no, leaving. that's yeah. been fixed. Yeah. In the bottom ones, um, there hasn't been any more movement, uh, mm -hmm. just time frame. So. Yeah. I do have, hang on. So, um, Plodzik Sanderson, um, 
There are auditors. Oh, okay. Okay. And shame on me, I, they sent me this engagement letter back in November. Oh, you're getting engaged? No, no, I'm sorry, February. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that again with a heartbeat. <laughs> wow, sorry, already TV's though. on. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, Bill. Um, <laughs> Love you, Bill. So, um, so they asked that we we sign, meaning me and the chair, because it talks about member of the board and me. They're pleased to provide the uh, understanding for the services that are being provided for the December 31, 21, and 22, because if you remember, we did a two-year contract with them. Um, 21 is pretty much all done, but we didn't return this at all. You're welcome to blab on. And then I have a Plodzik and Sanderson um, Board of Selectmen questionnaire that I'm going to hand down to the chair. I mean, I can answer it, but... Um, <laughs> Did I answer it last year? Different company. Oh, different didn't I do something? Different like chair. It? You did. Yeah. No. All right. So, yeah. So, Jack must not, or you did, because I, I did, I did two years year. ago. Yeah. So those are just questions talking about fraud. Do you think there's anything going on here? Um, I hope not. You know, it's it's a simple. I mean, I I'm happy to answer, send it to you, and you can review it. Okay. But anyway. Um, Actually, I worked with Beth on it. Didn't I? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> Whatever. So um, also, cemetery. We have some dates we have to make. Okay. We're back on that again, huh? Yeah. Back on that. I think that's going to be a reoccurring theme. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so I also made the changes that we talked about to this, which I'll send you for next time because mm -hmm. we have to have a public hearing. Basically, all it did was add the recording fee so that we can record them. Um, but we do, um, I was contacted, honestly, by Mr. Herman's son to be buried. So, um, looking at the 18th, which means that you yeah. have an 18th one, a 25th one, a July 9th, and a July 30th. One. Can you can you send us all the dates with the people? Yeah, but I before I can do anything with the people, I need to. We need to s probe. I was gonna say stake out, but we need to probe, right? Mm -hmm. That's no, fine. No. That's right. So we need to probe for these four things. Okay. They're all cremation. I can gladly send it to you, but keep in mind that three of you go, it's a meeting, so two right. of you need to go. Right. Um, I can give you the cemetery locations. Yeah. Yeah. It might behoove someone to go with Sherry because she's already been there. Well, I know where for, two of them are. We, except for this two. new one. Yeah. I mean, this is easy to find. E yeah. This is in, That's um, in uh, East Ware. East Ware, and it's number E16. Well, so. maybe maybe the first one we do a meeting so we can all see the process, because, John, you would know how to, how to you know, stake it. <laughs> really? Probe. Probe. The word's probe. Probe. <laughs> probe. How you, you, know how, you know how to probe it, so you could show Kevin and I. Yeah. Sherry knows what the lot is. Well, John, know you should know how to do it. Because yeah. you may have to do it. Because you're responsible. Job. Right. So I think the first one should probably be a costume meeting. Okay, I heard you. <laughs> so um, Wait, when answer. when no, do you it. want? I would assume you would do it an evening. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy, is there a good time that you could go do it so I could post it after six thirty? If it's an evening, it stays late till eight thirty or so. Yeah. So, I mean, I I think with John having <clears throat> an understanding of it and making sure to know what to look like, then I. I do have the white stakes that you guys can have. Okay, or, yeah, yeah. The um, little flag things. The little flags, and yeah, I have okay. a Sharpie that we can do. Okay. Just a name or initial. Initials yeah. probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I mean, I'm, I'm good pretty much any night. I just get enough. So this week, I know I Sherry's got Wednesday, got and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday this week. Okay. Friday. Occupied. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, just, <laughs> you can't do Monday the 13th. You can't do Monday the 13th. All right, so we're looking at next week then. The 14th available? Tuesday the 14th? I think so. I just want to be able to post it. <laughs> it sounds like an auctioneer here. Seems like. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what Tuesday the 14th brings. Going once, going twice, sold. Well, I, I'll look when I get home, but I don't yeah, know Yeah, the 14th anything. should work for me. 6.30? 6.30. 6.30. There. 
the what cemetery are we starting. So where are we gonna meet? Pine. We're gonna meet on Buzzle Hill. Pine. Meet on Buzzle Hill. Pine, yeah, Pine, Pine Hill. Pine Hill first. Those Pine, are the Pine two Hill I Cemetery. know. Pine right Grove. Where Pine Grove. Excuse Pine me. Grove. Pine Grove. Yeah. Pine Grove. I meant Pine Grove. So we'll meet at Pine Grove, yep. six thirty, yep. on Tuesday the fourteenth. Yep. Okay. And actually, I might even go with you. Uh, oh, good. I just I think That'll you know I think I think it's gonna be good for the board because we have to act as a board so. Yeah, no, I just want it's our responsibility to understand. As a board. Um, yeah. it's, and and I do, too. That's Yeah, right. it's kind of what I yeah, want to know, too. So I've right. changed the forms around. I do have a couple we have to sell, so it, it would be nice for us to peek at, too. Mm -hmm. um, I've had people inquire about selling. Um, I've got one that's going to have to go to probate because no one's got a deed anywhere. So that's not going to make anybody happy. No, but it is what it is. Which I can do with it. Right. Because okay. we were explained that process. So... That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That'll happen before this. These two I have to sell. And maybe if, if I come up early um, here, if, I ha if you email me or you have it ready for me um, Wednesday what day night. What is that? Wednesday night. Conservation. Yeah. Maybe I can get up a half an hour earlier, a little better than that, that we can look at the uh, other name or two names because I didn't look at those. We didn't have those yet. I only look, looked at for the first two. Yeah, yeah, you looked at Thompson. Thompson and? Flint. Flint. Those the other are the two are easy to find. Okay. Well, the other two are in I know East where. Square. I know where the other The other two, I could almost tell you where they are. Yeah. But, I, I but know. It's those two that were over. Yeah. All right. So I'll schedule that and that yeah. at least gets us started down that path. All right. Um, so we figured out once we probe it, mark it, we figured out who's going to dig it. Isn't that us? I, I thought. Know, you can't use a piece of equipment, right? I thought you were going to have that company come in and dig, dig. I'm just saying they're, right? Aren't they? Well, if they're full size. No, these no, are these all cremation. They're all cremation. cremation. Yeah, that's just. It's, so 18, what happens 18, to? 18 inches square, two feet deep. See, he knows that. He knows that. I'm gonna write it down just okay. so and if it's a I don't know if they the town requires vaults for urns. Most cemeteries don't because the urns nowadays are concrete ish based. Ish, so there's no need of having vaults for them. Okay. I don't know, I thought we would have to have a vault. I don't know. You don't have to. The year So yeah, sure one of the one of the um the one on July 9th, the family wants to dig its own grave. But I think we, I think one of us. Somebody should be there. has to be Somebody's there. Be we there. have to mark it out. Someone has to be there. Because yep. Terry said they can dig their own. Right. Yeah, but okay. it still has to be probed and marked out. And yeah. then, but somebody has to be there, and someone has to be there. When was that? Which one was that? July 9th. July 9th. That's your birthday. Now everybody knows. Yay. <laughs> my granddaughter's the same day. That's how I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what time? Um, the July 9th one. Because hmm. we just go off and we wait, I guess, for the family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we have to be present. So July 9th is 11 o'clock. Ish. 11 o'clock. July 9th. So you should get there about quarter of 11, and don't plan on getting out of there until afternoon time. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so. Um, that's in the East West Cemetery, July 9th. July 9th, is it Pine Grove? Oh, Pine Grove. That's Carol Thompson. Oh, okay. But I thought you had to do a vault. Didn't I understand that from Terry? I thought you could do, there's plastic ones and there's concrete ones. I think I remember her saying well, something like that. Well, I looked like into that. the plastic oh, ones. I couldn't find anything online. I could find records. Go to Walmart.com? Hanukkah yeah. doesn't require vaults for... I did, nothing. Vault for Cremation. No. no, a lot of towns don't. I can make that phone call. Just make, I just yeah, please, said that. please make the phone call. That way, there yeah. we know. I mean, I, I'd hate to be in the bind and have right. to. Because right. I could have sworn the answer was yes, and they make them in plastic. Yeah. Well, what's her name told us that too? Terry said here. Is that Connie? Judy. Connie. Oh, Connie's in. Okay. Yeah, I just. But I couldn't find anything online for the plastic. Okay. At Walmart. Okay. Uh, Amazon, yes. Oh, good. All right. So, so I got that scheduled. Okay. That'll be our next meeting. Okay. The school's all reserved for the yeah, other. For the, for the other thing. Um, Including cameraman. Yep, we already have that all all squared okay. away. It's going to be live stream. I'll have to try to find the um, live stream 
uh, the website or Connection. whatever password yeah. YouTube or so whatever. that we can do that. Um, and we're also going to record it mm -hmm. so that um, we can broadcast it later just like the other meetings. Okay. okay. Wow, I think I'm done. Okay. Uh, correspondence, other business. I have a couple of things, but we could do that if you want non-public or can I, they're just updates regarding things I spoke to to the last meeting regarding transfer station. If they're transfer station and we're not speaking of specific employees, yeah, no, no, then no, it's no, public. No. Um, just that the, I sent out the data that they've tracked so far. Yeah, or that had, be, like had Beth send yeah, it out. That looks like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think it forwarded it to him possibly. Um, if I ha I didn't know it, it went to all of us. It went to all of us. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, the only correction on here that just should be noted is the couch is at 250. Um, just ran some information if anybody wants to look at it. The number is about a third high, okay. if not more. But anyway, it's it doesn't really value. matter. If we yeah. keep these all at like 100, right straight across the board, we'll get pretty close. Okay, just let everybody know. But it's actually tracking very, very well as far as whoever those other mattresses and furniture, wherever they were coming from, um, <laughs> they've stopped coming, which is right. great news. Um, the office renovation has been completed down there. I don't know if everybody knew that Looks was happening. Yeah, it did look good. Um, there is going to be another trip over to Hillsboro on Thursday evening um, to meet with their director. Who's, who's this going? Thursday? Well, I don't want to mention any names. Public Works Director. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, and there is going to be an updated signage package through New Hampshire, the beautiful, um, that should be finalized on Thursday. That's no expense to the town. Yep. Excellent. Okay. okay. Um, I think that's all. Oh, and the dump stickers are in. Oh, yeah. Transfer, new transfer station yeah. stickers are in. And... Her, we said four to six weeks we'll meet that date and Maureen will start the only question to the board will be we had suggested and I personally recommend it because there will be some minimal expense to us for postage if bought online <coughs> is um, a two dollar per sticker that's pretty common for everything everyone or only by mail no, just basically for everyone. Well, I didn't really think it through that way, Rick, to be quite honest with you. I just thought that it was just a flat fee, $2 per household for the sticker at registration. Mm -hmm. And you get how many stickers? No more than two. No more than two for a household. So we can just we could just come in and pick them up any time from Maureen. Well, I mean, when you I'm register not going to register my vehicle to lock no. over, but I don't have a problem putting the sticker on the car. So I think that, I think that is, has, has Benji been it seems like the board is forcing that change has no, Benji he, been no, asked no, about that no yeah oh yeah he's 100 percent okay with yeah, the stickers yeah, yeah, all right yeah, yeah. Just, he does, he does, we, ha he we has, haven't he, heard it from him as a yeah, board i'm sorry you um, know, as, as a board I, we haven't heard it i think there's uh but maybe just in yes he does not want it being done now all right well i think and he's already in a meeting with his employees okay. already stated that that change is right. coming well, I think I think that that moving forward, changes like this need to come from him. As okay. far as far as as far as because that I mean the stickers have always, to my knowledge, been issued down there, and I think I think it needs we need to include him when changes like this happen. He needs to be here in the flesh. Okay. Well, we haven't it hasn't been instituted yet. Right. So, but so the, we but the stickers are in. We're, right. The box we're, is upstairs on my. Phone, we're on basically my desk. ready to we're ready to roll it out, and I haven't even heard this come out of his mouth. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear it come out of that's his fine. mouth. That's I'll all. I'll get that done. Yes, what was the fine. cost of the stickers? Uh, twelve hundred. And how many stickers? Ten Five thousand. No. Ten. You get ten thousand. Ten. Oh, ten thousand. Okay. And they are. It's thirteen thousand registrations. They don't expire or anything. We're not changing no. colors like every year, like Chase Park. We or anything talked like about. That. Well, we no, talked about it know, the first we, night we, of we, changing every like three we years. We did. We did talk about it at some point. We'll rotate out because so that we just don't have. They're gonna fail. The average age of a vehicle now is three years. Yeah, people own a vehicle. Not in my household. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah, but, but anyway, that is the average. So we did talk about, I think if you go back to the May 2nd right. minutes, it, it refers to that there will be a periodic change, and the only change would be the color. Yeah. So, you know, so we know, like, that's a really old sticker, right? You got a sticker on there. Is that is that just well, a hand-me-down car? Is that yeah. person really resident? You know, the, sticker, the, the one good thing about this, John, now is there's going to be a database so that, 
if if there's that suspect sticker, they'll be able to quickly look that up and ask right. a question. Um, I guess the other the other side too is is two bucks a sticker. What is that covering? Because the stickers cost the town twelve cents a piece. Yeah, something like that. So where is this two dollars revenue? It was only it was only brought up. It was only brought up because of, and I didn't even suggest this. Okay. Um, it was brought up from Ma Maureen actually. That I might have brought it up. Or, or that it's it's currently being used in our adjacent towns. Mm -hmm. Right. So our neighboring towns are doing that, and there will be some additional associated cost with it being managed here right. relative to mail. So it was just a suggestion. And it's not something that I'm affixed on at all. No, I think I think a dollar would be fine because we're still making some stiff, significant. Well, the, we talked about it originally that it was going to be four to six weeks to get started. Right. So they're here. They're upstairs. Okay. I mean, we haven't. I haven't seen Benji to tell them they're here. They right. came today. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty much. Well, I just I just want to get part it, of the update. I don't want to be making revenue off of selling dump stickers. Oh no, no, absolutely not. You know, that's no. that's that's where I'm at with it, and no. and I'm not saying that there's not going to be some some labor hour tied up in it but once a few of them have been issued it's pretty, probably going to become pretty streamlined exactly so it's an envelope and a stamp in and possibly just the additional record keeping because we are going to have yeah. to create that database but so if it's you, marginal. Yeah, marginal i think a dollar is fine mm -hmm. so well like i said i, I kind of want you know i obviously want benji here is obviously his input as well because yeah. he is the director of the of the well i suspect he's going to be here because we got to keep this bridge project moving oh absolutely 100 yeah. so yeah. i'm guessing two weeks yeah. from now he'll be here okay. well and that's good before yeah. it kicks off yeah, yeah. Right. and that's fine and, and then we're good. not going to do anything with the stickers like i said okay. the box just came today now so stay upstairs now with that said um I'll, I'll save it until, when when Benji's here. Okay. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. But Just everything else. Yeah. Everything else is going well. Okay. There was a meeting um, based on Ben's request mm -hmm. to take a look at the issue relative to the storage shed lean to. Yep. Um, he wanted some feedback. Um, Mario, I mean Romeo and myself. Why do I do that? But, I do that too. Yeah, he does it too. We yeah. all do. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, Romeo and myself met down there. I I actually asked Romeo just so that there's a second set of eyes on it, um, so that it wasn't just coming from my perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, he's going to write a, a small report and send it to Naomi. Okay. Okay. That's so that, probably a good idea. That'll be forthcoming. Okay. That's okay. a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty much that's it. Um, there's a lot of they, there's a lot of positive stuff happening down there. If you've been there, if you've been there, well, I've been there. Yeah. 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 yeah the guys seem to be. No. Nope. They seem to be I in a the, good place. I think the transportation looks really good as well. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I, I mean. I think it's been positive. it's being maintained pretty well yeah. now. Um, you, the piles aren't getting out of out of hand mm -hmm. as far as the TVs and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So I think I think yes. they're working very diligently. Nice and clean. Um, yeah, definitely nice and clean. hats off to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I did. On my own time, I did visit Hillsboro and I did visit Dunbarton just to see two different um, perspectives uh, myself. Uh, obviously, Dunbarton is not population size, but again, I just wanted to see how they operated. Yeah, and it's a completely different model than than, exactly. than ours and Hillsboro. So, yeah. Um, but I did spend probably a better part of an hour, if not longer, in Hillsboro. Um, well, and, and and an hour with Woody as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, but both you know both places I took a couple notes from and and you know. I'm, I'm glad I did go, um, but I think that uh, at any rate, change takes money, and that's something we really don't have. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it get good good ideas to start fostering for the future. Yeah, one other thing, the public works director has requested that a small committee be put together to um, plan for what that next model might look like. Um, the he has asked. That Jack Dearborn be included in that small committee, mm -hmm. so I reached out to Jack to see if he would be interested, and Jack said that he certainly would be interested. Okay, good. Right. So, so I it would be like a planning committee. Yeah, just Sub really, really like, like six meetings. Yeah, like okay. six meetings, okay. aerial shot, draw some blocks. This yeah. might be what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, best way I said to Jack is if someone gifted us a scale tomorrow, where would we put it? Mm -hmm. You know, just if, try. Kind if of think if someone it. gifted us three horizontal bales, where would we put them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. just sort of a broad, mm -hmm. you know, here's a here's. Will the traffic flow stay the same? 
ideally, as we will, um, any, as you are now familiar with, Rick, anyway, the last stop should be trash. <laughs> if we can make the last stop trash, that's the best place to do. So can we reverse the traffic around so the last stop is the hopper? Um, so things like that. But it's really broad brushed. But that'll be a huge help to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's just a, he's got enough on his plate. He's got enough on his plate, so to have... get a group that has info together. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You were part of our DPW garage. Ex yeah. I, uh, one of the things I want to pick your brain on, because Jack was real quick to um, suggest Bruce Fillmore. I said I want to hold on that. I actually, I don't know if there's a resident or someone connected with a civil engineering background, okay. um, which would be ideal. I mean, there's, you know, what is... Sure. That's critical to us, radiuses. And yeah. mm -hmm. So if you know anyone in town that um, might step on board for it, I don't see it being really more than six meetings. Right, and how many people did he indicate how big he wanted? Well, it's Director of Public Works, I'd say four. Yeah. I don't think any more than four because I think it's complicated. I think sometimes, yeah, four and Benji? Yes. I'd say you want to leave an odd number. Yeah. I think an odd number is easiest. Yeah. So logistically, okay. just to get that many people in the same room, so, who's, yeah. Who's the guy on uh, Quaker Street? Is it Quaker Street that's the civil engineer? Or over there? The one right on the corner? Mm, right on the corner. Is he has soils, soil, I think. Soil, soil. He has oh, soil. Soil, soil yeah. scientist, I think. Oh. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. Oh, Carr? Huh? Uh, Weatherby. Weatherby. Weatherby, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a PE. Right. Yeah, he's a structural engineer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a PE. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, okay. Thank That's you. That's it. That's the update. That's Anybody it. else have any other correspondence? No. And yeah, we did re we did receive some emails um, regarding transportation recycling. I don't want them to go on un, un, uh, unnoticed, but we did receive them. Um, and thank you for the input. So, um, other than that, I think there's no more business to be conducted. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Alrighty then. All yes. in favor? Yes. 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 Thank you, and have a wonderful night.